Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 14 in Leipzig, Germany, and we're here at the TransTech booth. And I'm here with Marcus and Oliver. So, Oliver, let's start with you, okay? Who is TransTech and who do you help? Yes, uh, TransTech is a uh, comprehensive provider of HPC solutions. So, the, essentially, we help everyone who's doing high performance computing, technical computing, um, as from the industrial side as well as uh, with the academic side. So, we have customers all around Europe, located in seven countries, uh, headquarters being based in Tübingen, south of Germany, beautiful university town, and we've got sales subsidiaries in UK, France, Netherlands and Switzerland. Um, we're doing uh, HPC solutions, as I said, and uh, today we're focusing on uh, the subject of remote visualization, uh, which deals with the fact that um, when you do simulations that run on an HPC cluster, you somehow have to post-process and to visualize and to analyze the result data. And it's, it obviously makes sense to do this at the, very, at the very place where the data have been created in the first place, which is in the data center, and not do the copy transfer to the local workstation. Okay, okay so, so if I have a supercomputing resource, the people who are actually using it can be hundreds or even thousands of miles away, couldn't exactly. they? Exactly, exactly, yeah. okay. exactly. So this obviously optimizes workflow, and uh, makes um, most efficient use of uh, the hardware that's being utilized because uh, at the secondary advantage you get is you need less hardware and therefore save money, time and money. Okay, okay. So, so can we see how it works? Yeah. Okay, so, so, so Marcus, what, what are we looking at here? Uh, this is a demonstration of uh, NICE DCV 2014 and um, yeah, it shows in general um, how you deal with apps and this is a slight um, presentation, which is also dealing with uh, 3D applications. This is showing games with um, average uh, frames per second rate, which is still playable through cloud um, usage. So um, this is not um, run locally on a, on a desktop. This is just totally remote. The basic setup applications like this are run on uh, the latest NVIDIA grid cards. Um, so the, the basic setup we have in our lab is um, based on dual Xeon processors with lots of RAM and um, at least one um, GRID K2 graphics card or um, card from NVIDIA um, which allows you to run multiple instances um, of 3D operations um, and this is a more or less dedicated card for each session. So you can have multiple sessions on only one system and um, the card is providing um, dedicated GPUs for each user session. So it sounds like flexibility is really important here because I don't need the world's fastest workstation to do some incredibly in, uh, compute intensive work then. Huh? No, you don't. Yeah, yeah. It's all in the data center so um, you can still scale up with having multiple grid cards in one system and so allow um, several users um, to work on one system at the same time. So, so what if my network's not so good? Can I dial it up and down on how much detail I see and so I can make it more interactive? Yes. Um, as you can see here, you have some kind of, um, of um, interactive menu where you can scale up, scale down the quality. Um, so if your network is, or if your network connection is rather poor, you can start with having only 10% of the quality, of the original quality. And um, NICE is handling that way that it's using the um, quality downgrade only in the stream. If you have a frame that is the final frame for, of an image, for example, this is, will always be rendered with 100% quality. So only the, um, only the if, you, if you move some pictures, this will be, will be done with a lower quality, but the final picture itself or the final um, will, will be in 100% quality. So, so they're able to get their work done and, and, and enjoy all the benefits of a very high-end system here, like render an entire car with, with the finite element and everything, it yeah. looks like here. So terrific. Yeah. In our lab, we have tested with uh, uncompressed um, full HD applications, um, running at least with uh, 24 frames per second, and we get an average rate of 25 megabytes per second. Um, in the opposite, we've also dealt with, a, with the lowest quality, and um, it was possible in full HD resolution with only um, around two megabytes per second. So you guys, you guys help you know customers who want to do this kind of computing. What do you bring to the table? You got the nice software. 
you help them optimize the whole experience from, from the beginning, or how does it work? Exactly. What we do is, um, uh, when we see a customer has these requirements, we uh, do all the sizing for him. We do, well, of course, we sell everything. We do the installation, the integration, and the tuning. And um, what, uh, what you can see here at this demonstration is uh, the, the huge range of, of fields of applica applicability of this kind of technique. So what was originally designed for streamlining and optimizing workflow um, can as well be used for cloud gaming, as Marcus just explained, and this uh, is a fantastic thing, actually.